everybody. I'm Ray Hickson, and I'm an aerospace engineer working in the acoustics branch at the NASA Glenn Research Center here in Cleveland, and I also teach at the University of Toledo. My job at NASA is to predict where sound comes from and how it moves. I use really big computers to do this, and my specialty is called computational aeroacoustics. Now in my job, I use STEAM, science, technology, engineering, art, and mathematics. I need science to investigate what sound is. I'm really interested in the sound coming from airplanes as they fly, and there's a lot of technology and engineering that is used to design and build those airplanes. I need mathematics because science has found the mathematical equations that predict how sound is made and how it moves, and part of my job is to find faster and more accurate ways to solve these equations. Finally, there's art. As you'll find out, scientists, mathematicians, and engineers are clever and creative people who want to come up with beautiful theories, equations, and designs. That's where the art is at. As I've said, I'm really, really interested in sound and where it comes from. One easy way to make sound is to vibrate a solid structure. For example, I can make sound when I shake this piece of paper. I'm also making sound right now by vibrating the vocal cords of my neck. That's how we talk. In today's experiment, you're going to use a nut to make a screaming balloon, and you'll find that the sound of the balloon scream comes from the nut making the balloon vibrate. Enjoy the experiment, and come see me at NASA or at the University of Toledo, and I can show you more about STEAM. Thanks very much. This is Mr. Rebecca at the Middleburg Heights branch of Cuyahoga County Public Library, and today we're going to make a balloon scream. So before we do that, I want to talk to you a little bit about sound. So I have a question for you guys. So like I said, I'm here at the Middleburg Heights branch and we have kind of a noisy branch because we're right by the freeway and we're also by a big set of train tracks, big one. So I'm here in the story room and so I can't see the train, but let's say the train is coming. How would I know? How would I know that train is coming? Well, it's pretty loud, right? We would hear it. So let's sound isn't something just we hear, but it's something that we can feel because it's caused by vibrations. So let's explore that a little. So let's make our screaming balloon. So what you'll need, you'll need a balloon, a hex nut or something similar to it, like a little piece of hardware like this. Something with a lot of sides is good. And a marker. You might also need a grown up to help you with this balloon. All right, so let's get started here. Take your balloon, take your hex nut and slide it on in down the balloon. Give it a little shake so that it falls to the bottom. See how mine's in the very, very bottom here? Next, we're gonna blow up this balloon. I'm gonna take some deep breaths to get ready to do it. Ooh, I need a little break. So you want your balloon kind of big, but not too big, because you wanna be able to kind of hold it with one hand. So blow it up a little more. A little bit more. Awesome. And when you've got it to a nice good size like this, you're going to tie it off. Once again, you might need a grown up to help you with that. You tie off your balloon just like that. All right. All right. So we can't have a screaming balloon without a mouth, right? So go ahead and take your marker. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a nice big mouth. Just like that. So I like to have my balloon to have a little face while it screams. Okay, so does everybody have their balloon blown up, tied off? And then I'll give you a minute here. Does everyone have a face drawn on it? Okay, if not, that's okay, but I'm gonna show you what happens next. So we need to get this balloon screaming. Go ahead and shake your balloon. Hear your head's not kind of bouncing around in there. You hear it? Oh, you almost heard something there, didn't you? So go ahead and hold your balloon like this in one hand and kind of try to swirl it around. Try to get that hex nut circle. Let's see, I don't quite have mine yet. Did you hear that? That's a pretty weird noise. Go ahead and try it again if you heard it. That is a pretty weird noise. Does it does almost sound like a scream? That one's pretty interesting, right? So how it's working is, there's two things kind of going on here, how we're getting our balloon to scream. 
The first is the centripetal force, which is a kind of fancy science word that means that it's keeping that hex nut spinning in a circle. So what it does is it pulls it inward and it keeps it on that path to spin in a circle when you spin it, right? The other piece of it is we're using a hex nut. And hex nut is interesting because it has one, two, three, four, five, six sides, like hexagon, right? And so as our hex nut is spinning inside of the balloon, each of those little sides, each of those little hard metal corners is tapping against it and it creates a vibration, which creates the sound. So this little hex nut is moving fast and it's hitting hard. So go ahead and try it again. Do you feel that? Oh, they drop it. Oh, run away screaming balloon. So if you spin it, you can almost feel the balloon start to vibrate. You can feel that sound, that loud, weird sound. 